In the state of New York, transgender adults have been permitted to change their birth certificate gender markers since 2014. This story, by the way, the one we're going to cover, will kind of follow on from yesterday's, which is quite handy. As an update to what New York has done with regards to adults, they're now allowing transgender minors to change the gender marker on their birth certificates to reflect their gender identity instead of their sex assigned at birth, which is going to start quite, hmm, an interesting debate or two. I'm going to say this from the offset. I don't support this. Adults, sure. Minors, no. And the reasons are obvious. The reasons I discussed in great detail yesterday. Children can't make an informed decision. There's the cliff notes. They really can't. New York Attorney General Letitia James announced on Tuesday that effective immediately, transgender individuals born in New York will have the right to make this deeply personal decision without the government's unwarranted denial or without having their privacy violated. We will not allow an outdated policy to stop us from providing every individual with equal dignity and respect. But this isn't about dignity and respect, is it? You can say that's what it is and try and guilt people into believing it because that's usually how it goes about when you then attack someone with a buzzword like racist, transphobe, Islamophobe, homophobe. But in reality, that's not what you are doing at all. You are pandering to look good when in reality you are, by extension, just endangering very indecisive people who have yet to be either diagnosed and treated properly or enabling the behaviour of people who are just flip-flopping because they're children. Can we now have a gender marker for dragon because I'd really, really like to identify as one? I have wings after all. Can I spew poisonous gas? I really like those dragons. I was a big wood elf fan as a kid. This decision, this announcement from the Attorney General, comes two months after a 14-year-old trans boy, who is unnamed, sued the state over its policy barring minors from changing their birth certificate gender marker. It's not a gender marker, it's a biological sex marker. Please stop confusing the two. Which has been legal for adults since 2014. Understandably, this boy now considers this policy awesome. Cool. I'm so happy for you. A statement from Lambda Legal, which is an LGBTQ civil rights group that filed the case on the boy's behalf, said that now all my identity paperwork matches and I can go forward not having to worry about legal documents conflicting with who I am again. I just get to go on being me. Based on the current rate of those who, let's say, flip-flop, how long will it be until this unnamed boy changes their mind? Anyone want to guess? I'm not saying, by the way, that this child will, but the statistics are against you. And I don't endorse children transitioning in the slightest. One of the legal officials working on that particular case considered this announcement to be a victory for all transgender people in New York. I disagree. I'm sure some will be, and I'm going to use an old term here, red-pilled enough to think this is utterly nonsensical. Might go so far as to say it's absolute bonkers. And I've chosen those two words on purpose because a friend of mine has a new video on his channel coming out soon called Absolute Bonkers. I'm going to link it in the description. Go check it out. In a statement, the legal official said that every person should be recognised and respected for who they are. You're right. But I also believe children should be seen and not heard. (laughs) I'm kidding about that part. Children should be seen and heard so we know they're safe and not mooching off some guy's Wi-Fi in a van. And I do think while it's right we respect who people are, children are children. Which sounds like a tautology, but it's really not. The term children could be used to reference how unpredictable they are. Or predictably unpredictable. Depending on how you look at it, really. Let's not forget here that children also, since they go through puberty like every other person on this planet, they're going to change with that. We all try and work out who we are, I get it. We spend years trying to ascertain the type of person we are, what makes us comfortable, what doesn't, what we're willing to push ourselves to do, and what we would rather do instead. I really get it. And apparently gender identity is quite important to a lot of people. Personally, not myself, but that's a personal choice, isn't it? The only things that matter to me are sandwiches and work. 
and perhaps one of my guitars, it's got a rather nice set of pickups in. Continuing the statement from the legal official, it shouldn't take a minor and their family suing the state to get their rights recognised. But you're a minor, what rights do you think you actually have? You're not on par with an adult here. And making such a grand decision, honestly, I've got Amos Yee in the back of my head here screaming, surely if they can make this informed decision, they can make another informed decision as a way of trying to rationalise a little reductio ad absurdum. But with this announcement, New York State eliminates an outdated and unjust barrier to transgender minors' ability to be themselves and have accurate essential identity documents. What are you talking about? Do you have access to a driver's license at 14? What about social security card? Or is it the um, passport card that serves as national identification? Which all sound remarkably familiar to me. If it's the passport, might I just say, if you need to update the photo, just update the photo. The part where it references your gender, I still don't really get it. I don't have a passport yet, so maybe I've yet to fully understand the injustice of not having my recognised gender on it, as opposed to my biological sex, which will for the rest of your life remain as the one you were assigned at birth based on a minor observation on whether or not you have external or internal genitalia. Because believe it or not, biological sex is real, although I think we should just go back to the 1500s at this point and just call all children, girl, screw it, you're all girls now. Currently in the United States, there is what is considered to be a patchwork of laws when it comes to birth certificate gender marker changes. Some states, like New York, Colorado, California, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Washington, allow both adults and minor transgender people to update the certificate gender markers. However, at least two states, which would include Ohio and Tennessee, do not allow for amending the gender marker on birth certificates at all with Lambda Legal currently suing those states over this policy. I can see this ending very well for them, although at the top of my head I can think of a number of states that might follow Tennessee and Ohio in this. Why do I have Alabama stuck there? What I find interesting here is, with the case concerning this boy, it went so far as to go through a district court in Texas after the family moved from New York to Houston last October to get the permission to change certain... <clears throat> official document. Now they've included licenses, certificates and passport along with social security records. But in truth, none of this is relevant yet and I still think, I truly firmly believe, none of it should be changed until they are an adult. Shouldn't be transitioning either at that age to be brutally honest. Of course one should be allowed and free to explore who they are. I'm not going to deny that. But the support should be there to help them get to the correct, let's say, not just age, mental maturity to be able to make that decision and a child never qualifies as being mentally mature enough to make such a life-altering decision. The risk is far too high and a child is not developed enough. With this particular case and New York's little change, I'm very much interested to know what you think. So please do let me know in the comments down below. I have a new video on Moisky Live and I'm going to be streaming on Twitch some Plague Inc because I want to brew my own coronavirus. Or I might just call it a different beer name. Uh, Carlsberg is the name of the day. Also, a friend of mine in Michigan is going through a bit of a tough time. And this <coughs> virus has caused a number of issues, including work being shut down where she lives. She has set up a GoFundMe, and I have linked it in the description. If you're at all interested in helping her, please consider doing so. So I hope you'll have a fantastic Tuesday. And thank you all for listening.